Okay, okay, this is Rain Barrel Part 3. Um, it's coming along very nicely. Um, actually had some help from my friend Joe. Um, I actually ran into him at Home Depot while getting some of the pieces, and um, he ends up helping me uh, put these rain barrels together. So I got a bunch of uh, one inch PVC pipe that I will be uh, using to connect to the top of the barrels that will be the overflow valves. So I got two uh, connectors and two elbows and uh, there are four rain barrels so I have the elbow at the last piece and uh, I got one inch threaded fittings that I screwed into the top of each barrel. And um, All right, so I have that actually have went pretty well. <laughs> I have this Teflon tape that I'm going to be using to seal these uh, these one inch adapters that I'm going to be using to use for the PVC pipe to overflow valves. So when one barrel fills, it'll overflow into the next barrel and to the next barrel and to the next barrel and end up filling up all the barrels. So what I have here is that I drill the one inch hole and then I have these uh, one inch PVC pipe adapters. I'm just gonna screw that guy in right there. And what I did was actually, I hopefully that one works. Actually uh, made the hole slightly smaller than uh, the pipe itself. It looks like it's a little slanted. Let me try that again. Yeah, that way you're gonna have like this much in between. It's beautiful. So what I'll be doing uh -oh. is uh, taking the uh, PVC pipes, cutting them to length, of each barrel and putting the fittings on each one and connecting it to the top of each of the barrels so when one barrel fills it flows into the next one and then into the next one to the next one and then, and then the last piece is going to have an overflow valve so when the last barrel fills it doesn't overflow and it'll just kind of spill out on the side and hopefully i can uh, make a modification sometime the future if I plan on using that water for uh, something else instead of letting it run off into the ground I can probably use it uh, to do something cool so um, we went along we cut these pieces and uh, we started to fit them in pretty messy and actually started to come out pretty good I actually think that's really nice thought that was kind of tear that thing apart We'll just roughly measure them and we'll, it'll work. Alright, this is definitely going to stabilize it. I can tell just by this. I also got this nice long piece of foam that goes in the gutter that uh, stops debris from going in because I want as little debris as I could possibly get into these barrels. So I have less debris to deal with going into my rain barrels. And then I have this, which is actually a pot that I'm going to be filling with mesh. Um, and hopefully that catches the excess debris that doesn't get caught by this before it goes into the barrel. And I can easily clean this out and that out whenever I need to. So I'm gonna go do that. All right, so I'm on my roof and uh, I put in that sealer, well, the, the debris catcher into my uh, gutter. And it's going all across here, so anytime leaves decide to uh, fall into my gutter, they'll be caught. Pretty, pretty cool investment. And then we ended up uh, hooking up the, the tube that will be uh, channeling the water right into the barrel. Like even without the screws on there, just wanted to like hold on to this because of the shape of it. It's like perfect. And on the barrel that's actually gonna have the water channeling into it, I have this thing, which is a, uh, a net pot. And I have this uh, 
this mesh that I put in there to stop debris also in case the uh, foam thing that I put into the uh, gutter did not catch all of it and uh, this fitting that fits perfectly to the tubing that we connected to the gutter and it's going to channel right into here directly into the barrel and um, yeah so I basically cut a hole in the top of that and uh, this is going to fit right in so it's coming along um, we're supposed to be uh, getting a lot of rain and I'm going to try to finish this tomorrow and um, we'll see how it works and uh, I'll do like a demonstration video when it's filling up it should be fun um, stay tuned